Hi there, this is Rebecca Dirks with Premier Guitar. We're at Winter NAMM 2010 talking to Steven Stern with Gretsch. And we're going to be talking about the Eddie Cochran model you've worked really hard on, right? Yes, I did. Uh, last year about this time I went to the um, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame to uh, do all the specifications on the guitar. And uh, it's been about a day with the guitar, um, measuring, uh, took, uh, took some templates of the pick guard, the heel cap, truss rod cover, um, wanted to take out the front pickup or the front pickup cover to see how the route was to, so we could recreate the pickup route because uh, Eddie had modified the guitar, took out the original Dynasonic pickup and put in the uh, P90 in the neck position. Cool. Uh, what other kind of unique different things about uh, Eddie's versus uh, the production ones of that time did you guys deal with? Well, uh, the pick guard you can see that um, he had stripped off the uh, gold paint uh, underneath, so it made it a clear pick guard. And I don't really know why he did that. Maybe to take off the um, the logo of the Chet Atkins or something. I, who knows? Um, I, also, the guitar was very, um, very clean. It was his only guitar that he played throughout his career. So one would think that it would have a lot of dings, a lot of scratches, a lot of wear, and the body did not, but the neck had some unusual wear to it, which uh, I thought was kind of interesting. Yeah, you can see that over on, uh, yeah. on the guitar. If you look on the, on the binding on the neck, it looks like the lacquer had been taken off, and only in one spot does it have the uh, aged lacquer on the, um, around the 10th fret, you can see that. And so that's, that was really unusual. Fanatic about details, and you want to try to get that and nail that as best you can and as humanly possible. And you take a lot of photos and, and measurements, and uh, that's what you have to do. And it's, quite, it's a very exciting project. I think uh, we got kind of lucky here um, in the way what happened with this, this guitar after his death, because it, it, it wasn't played or used by anybody else, right? So by the time you, know, you get to it, it was just really well preserved. Yes, it, it was. Um, I, I believe the story goes a police officer had the guitar and I think he played it a little bit before he, it got returned back to his mother. And uh, when I specced out the guitar, it had the, the original strings that were on it. And I was, I was very nervous about that because I, I didn't want to break one. And they didn't have the ball ends on them. They were just had little loops. And what's also great about this, um, this guitar is the, the value added, the, the, the things you get with the guitar, you get a... Um, a recreation of Eddie Cochran's strap that was made, I believe, from one of his friend's mother. And then, and then also you get original, not reproduction, fan club card, stationery, uh, photos, fan club pin, and an original signed Eddie Cochran Christmas card that was supposed to go out to the fans. Um, their box, they're in the original box. Well, the cards I have stacked in the original box and envelopes and stuff, and those go with the guitar. That's incredible. Did, that his, incredible. did his mom have those? Um, his nephew, Ed Jolson, had that, and he was so kind to donate that to the guitar. Um, just It takes it to the next level. I mean, how, how incredible to have an original signature of somebody, some famous rock and roll star who has, has passed away. And, it's actually kind of really nice like, and a little poetic that yes, these Christmas cards that were meant to his fans really are ending up in the hands exactly. of, of a fan. Yeah, so that's, that's wow. also a very unique feature of this instrument. Yeah, that's amazing. And how many are there going to be? Fifty. Well, thanks a lot for showing us the stuff, Steve, and it's really cool. Um, if people want to learn more about the guitar or see the stuff that comes with it, uh, is there somewhere they can go on the web? Yes, you can go on uh, GretschGuitars.com. Right. It shows the guitar and all the uh, value added that comes with the guitar. This is Rebecca Dirks at Winter Nam 2010 at the Gretsch booth.